Now I think we've bitten off more than we can chew. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we're going to be starting the redesign and rebuild of our Defender Camper. The thing that we've noticed going on trips with the design as it is currently is storage and accessing things has been a little bit tricky and something that we know that we want to change around. That is the main thing that we're going to be looking into in our redesign. Let's take the landy round to the workshop and we'll show you what things are looking like in there at the moment. So this is what the back of the car is looking like at the moment. You can use this as a sleeping area and then flip it back and use this as a bench seat. We have some storage down here and then we generally will slide things underneath here when we have this flipped over. We have our fridge on this side and we have boxes and bags, so cooking equipment, clothing and everything sort of stored on this side. And then if we want to sleep in the back, we have all of this space. We've insulated pretty much everywhere we possibly can in the car. So the ceiling, all around the gull wing, you can see here, the carpeting has started to pull away and it's done this in a few areas. That is why we are stripping it out and we're going to get a fabric which is a bit more suitable for when we reupholster everything. Let's just pause here for a second and take you back to last year, where we'd ripped out the first build we'd completed in our Defender, insulated everywhere we possibly could and carpeted the majority of the interior. We also installed not one, but two gullwing windows, a diesel heater, which didn't quite go according to plan. Just a little tip guys, if you are planning to take out your fuel tank, make sure it's empty first. We unfortunately learned that the hard way. We added a 12 volt battery system to our Defender. We did all of this before hitting the road and heading to the Arctic Circle. We've got a full Arctic series, so make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already. Okay, let's go back to the video. sad because this took a lot of time to do but it's not quite right is it and I think actually having a different color in here will brighten it up a bit I mean black is quite I mean the darkest color you can have <laughs> What have we done? So I'm now removing our leisure battery setup. Right, we're going to call it a night, I think. Been a bitter sweet day, I think. Yeah, it's um, made it pretty clear there's a lot of work that we're gonna have to do now. We're just thinking of the bigger picture, trying to. Yeah, bit by bit. Yeah, next step is to do some drawn out plans and things. We're gonna head back out here tomorrow and continue the- Demolition phase. Yeah, demolition phase of the rebuild series. See ya. We've returned to the workshop the next day to take some measurements and come up with a bit of a design so we could visualise what we were trying to create in the back of the car. We're using a programme called SketchUp to create our mock-up design for the Landy. This is just design number one and I'm sure there's going to be quite a few more before we get to our final design. Okay guys, it's been a week since we started the demolition rebuild 
process on the Defender. We've come up with a little bit of a plan for what we want to do with the interior. So this week we've just been placing orders of things that we want to install and start working on in the car. So first thing is the bulkhead reduction kit. So it's pretty simple. We've got some edging strips, some capping that's going to go on the corners somewhere and some rivets. So I'm going to read these instructions and then, first. hmm? I'll be first. Yeah. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So this is a terra firma bar from Black Hawk Solutions. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um, this one costs just under a hundred quid. So they, they range from about 95 to 140 pounds. I've read the instructions. I'm going to start prepping the car and get into it. So this is the piece we've got to take out. There's, I don't know, a dozen rivets in it. So we just got to drill those out, pop the heads off and go from there. So I'm going to get cracking. So while Harry's getting on with the um, bulkhead reducer, I thought I would just go through some of the things that we've ordered for the build. So we picked up some thinner insulation. It's good for thermal, but also good for sound deadening, which anyone that drives a Defender knows how noisy they are on the road. So this is very good. So we picked up some four-way stretch carpet and we've gone for a slightly lighter color. We decided we wanted to go for wood look flooring and vinyl is what we had previously. So we just had the self-adhesive vinyl tiles. I found that actually trying to find square tile wood look vinyl flooring was really difficult to find. I managed to find these on Amazon, but we were limited in terms of color. So it was either this lighter brown, I wanted slightly darker or like a gray wood look. So we've gone for these and that's what we're hoping to get installed this weekend. Yeah, we had every intention of continuing work on the car that afternoon, but decided instead we'd rather go on a spontaneous camping trip with our friends Nicole and Nat. We headed to a lovely little camp spot, cooked up some good food, had a catch up, and then the next day we returned to the workshop to pick up where we left off. So I appreciate you might have noticed that this is the third outfit change for me to do one job. So get yourself a nice, fresh, clean blade. Once you're confident where your cut is going to be, just get to it. Another one. So today's job for me is to remove all of this wood area that we've built up. We were going to try and reuse the wood, but um, as we had the self-adhesive vinyl tiles, these on here, um, when we've lifted them off, it has just left this sticky residue, which we have tried to get off quite a few times. We've decided we're gonna have to take it all out and start completely from scratch. So I'm gonna crack on with that now. Hmm. How many screws can you use? I think I'm only just halfway through all of the screws and I have this many already. This might be a longer job than I thought. I'm unscrewing the screws. I've noticed that quite a few of them are rusty. It's not a great sign. And that means that this quick job that I thought I had has actually kind of turned into a bit of a bigger job because we now need to investigate where 
what is causing the rust and where it's coming from and fix it before we can then redo all of this wood that I'm ripping up. Having a Land Rover, an old Land Rover Defender or any old car for that matter, everything always takes longer than you think. It's just part of the process. Over the next couple of days, I continued with the demolition phase of our rebuild and ripped up the flooring that we had put down. As I was unscrewing the screws, they were disintegrating and just snapping because they were so rusty. And this was just a sign for what was to come next. We've got to a point where we have taken down all of the timber work that I had installed, I guess, four years ago now. I knew what the condition of the floor was underneath everything. That's why I covered it up. But if we're going to be putting this beautiful camper into the back of the car, there's no point putting it on a disintegrating floor. So we've decided that we're going to replace this. It's best to have everything underneath sorted We've got a galvanised chassis, we've done everything underneath. So this really is the last thing to do to get this, get this Defender in a really good condition. Okay, I'm gonna set about um, removing these rivets and hopefully we're just gonna replace this floor section because the wheel arches seem to be okay. And what condition it's in, we're not gonna know whether it needs replacing or not. Fingers crossed it's gonna be okay, but if it's anything like the rest of it, it might not be. Now I think we've bitten off more than we can chew. It looks like we've got a bit of a bigger job on our hands than maybe we initially anticipated, but I guess that's just how it goes. We'll be bringing you along in this rebuild journey with us, so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next video. Give this video a like and comment below if you've got any questions, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.